As a listener and a recordist, some of the best sounding recordings I've ever heard have been DSD, usually through SACD. I absolutely love the way DSD sounds, especially at double rate or higher, and have also found that upsampling PCM digital to DSD, as you do in your direct stream DAC or with, your so or with software, like from Audio Ravana, sounds great as well. Do you, see a f uh, do you foresee a future for DSD native recordings and for DSD as an output format for both PCM music, as you do in your DAC? Thanks, Ian. I need to be specific on this because you're asking a very specific question. I, I would say that as far as PS Audio is concerned, yes, DSD has a home and a future because I agree with you. DSD is so much better sounding than PCM. It's just, it's just not debatable. Right upstairs from this engineering lab, is one of the world's best DSD mastering labs that is right here in this building. Gus Skinnis, who is behind DSD and has been in its creation, has done half of the SACDs ever made, has the, well, he owns the Sonoma recording system of which we have a 24 track Sonoma DSD recorder upstairs. And this is just the finest recording system on the planet. It sounds so natural, so non-digital. It's just amazing. So I am a fellow fan. My son, Sean, Sean McGowan, he's a musician, uh, a writer, composer, and he discovered a little while ago DSD through our new wave phono converter that we, we converted from a phono converter to a straight A to D converter form. And he just called me up in a swoon. Pop. This is amazing. I, I just, I can't get over how good this sounds. And, and anybody that's ever really played with DSD that I know says it has no sound. This is as analog as it can possibly get. And it is, it's true. I, I wish more people could wrap their heads and their arms around the idea of DSD as being the way to go. But it doesn't happen. And I don't know why. Well, I have a, a, a clue. DSD is not as easy to edit, to splice, to manipulate. You can't really manipulate it. You can't take DSD and make wholesale changes to it like you can PCM. In PCM, you can change the level, you can change the EQ, you can do digital signal processing. It's much more robust in what you can do with it. So DSD is, is kind of like this pure candle. It just, it sits out here and yeah, the Sonoma system, you can edit, you can do things to it, but it's not as easy, nor is it as um, agreeable to futzing around with it. But I, th I just think, enough. We don't need to be doing all this DSP. If we're using it as a recording medium and a playback medium, there's nothing better than DSD. And yes, I'm waving the flag for it. Yeah. Does it have a future? It does here. And we're going to do our best, but in the long run, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I just think it's got too little awareness out in the great world. Cookie Marenko, Blue Coast Records, she's a fan. Uh, Gus Skinnis is a fan. I'm a fan. Ted Smith's a fan. Many of our, well, anybody that owns a direct stream DAC or a, or a direct stream junior, you're a fan. You know how good that sounds. We convert PCM over to DSD. And it just sounds terrific. So, yeah, there's fans. We're in the minority. It's a niche market. And unfortunately, I believe it'll probably stay that way. But I don't want to be the, that Doubt and Thomas kind of guy. But I do unfortunately think that's the case. It's a shame, but there it is. Wish I had better news for you, man. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.